Good morning, Joy Kids, or good afternoon, or good evening. Today is the fourth Thursday. Today's scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 1 through 15. Jesus called for his 12 disciples to come to him. He gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every illness and sickness. Jesus sent these 12 out with the following orders. Do not go among the Gentiles, he said. Do not enter any town of the Samaritans. Instead, go to the people of Israel. They are sheep. They are like sheep that have become lost. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal those who are sick. Bring those who are dead back to life. Make those who have skin diseases clean again. Drive out demons. You have received freely, so give freely. When you enter a town or village, look for someone who is willing to welcome you. Stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, greet those who live there. If that home welcomes you, give it your blessing of peace. If it does not, don't bless it. Some people may not welcome you or listen to your words. If they don't, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. What I'm about to tell you is true. On Judgment Day, it will be easier for Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Amen. All right, go meditate and then come back. All right, welcome back. The title is Working with Jesus, right? And what Jesus did was that he asked the 12 disciples to come, right? And then he is teaching them or what to do and discipling them what to do. And you know, as Christians, we're Christians means Christ-like. That means we want to be like Jesus and we're following Jesus. And that doesn't change during that time or now. Right? Until Jesus' second coming or the heaven, when we go to heaven, right? Or before we die, that does not end. Right? And what Jesus says is that he gave the authority to the disciples of Jesus, to drive out evil spirit and heal every illness and sickness. So, and that is something that we also have. You boys and girls have that ability and authority to drive out evil spirit and heal illness and sickness. As long as God allows it, it will happen. As long as you have that relationship with God and that faith in you, Jesus' name has power, right? And you know, evil spirits can come inside of you or it can give you thoughts, right? And we see that not only in the Bible, but in reality too, right? I've experienced it, right? It still happens today. It's less visible or it's less seen, right? Especially where we live, but it happens today around the world and it could happen to any one around us, right? And what happened was Jesus tells them, Jesus commends them, right? To drive out the evil spirit and heal illness as you go. And Jesus also tells them to preach and share the gospel, which it means that the kingdom of heaven has come near. God tells us to share it with other people. And that's something we still need to do. And God tells us to heal those who are sick. And God, also, Jesus also says right, to make those people dead, right? Come back to life as well. And you know, God tells us to drive out demons, right? We can see, and I'm sure you can, as you grow up, mature in God through the Holy Spirit. It's not about the age, right? It's not whether you're young or you're older, it's about maturity in God, right? We get to drive out evil spirit. And how we can do that is that we will commend it to them, just like Jesus. In the name of Jesus, get out of you, right? Get out of her, right? Let's say if there's someone who has evil spirits in them, we will commend them directly. Or even we can pray, right? In the name of Jesus. That's something very important. We got to pray in the name of Jesus. And we get to drive out demons in the name of Jesus. We get to heal people in the name of Jesus. Right? It's not about your ability. It's not about my ability. We can't do it. 
right? But in the name of Jesus, there is power in it that we get to be able to do that. It's not something that we should be scared about, right? This like world, like they make scary movies about evil spirits and demons. But boys and girls, you shouldn't be scared about it because we have the authority, right? We have the power over them because. We have that relationship, your son and daughter of Jesus, right? And God. So you have that authority in you, right? And God also says, right, there will be people who will listen to you, and there will be people who will not listen to you. When we share about Jesus to everyone, there will be people who will listen to it, there will be people who will not. And God told us that. And God says, right, if, if they don't welcome, right, welcome you or, or listen to your words, Jesus says, just leave them then, right? Then shake the dust off your feet. It's, it's telling you, maybe during that time that was physically true as well, that they may really go into the town and when they leave, right, take the dust off. But even today, what we need to do is that if, you know, if someone does not want to listen to the gospel, you don't need to be scared, right? Or you don't need to be less confident about Jesus, right? We will find someone who will and will share the gospel. So don't be discouraged when you share the gospel to your friends and they don't want to listen to it. Just shake it off. It's okay. We'll try again. And there will be someone who will listen to it. And what Jesus is saying is that on the judgment day. So boys and girls, Bible is so clear. Right? That we will be judged once when we die. Right? When our flesh dies, we'll be judged. There will be a judgment. And when there is a judgment. Right? It's going to be judgment about whether you really have Jesus in you or not. Whether you believe in Jesus or not. Or whether you really obey God or not. Right? And what when Jesus says that on Judgment Day, it will be easier for Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town, that means if there is a town or group of people who does not accept Jesus Christ, right, on the Judgment Day, right? You know, Sodom and Gomorrah, if you remember during the Bible studies for the older kids, it was the town that gets destroyed, right? Because they don't have that 10 righteous people, 10 people who believe in God, right? So it gets destroyed and they were filled with sin. But what God is saying is that the towns that does not accept Jesus, right? They're going to have a harder time, right? Then if they don't believe in Jesus, it's going to be difficult, right? So let me read the potter's will for today. It says, Jesus sends out his 12 disciples. They preach the same message Jesus preached. They help other people wherever they go, just as Jesus did. Most importantly, Jesus teaches the disciples to love the people they visit and to bless them when they stay in their homes. The disciples are happy to take care of Jesus' ship together with Jesus. So my question is, to you today is right what authority did Jesus gave to his disciples what authority what power did Jesus say that he gives to the disciples and when you answer the question at the end of your answer write the first initial of your name right write the first initial of your name after answering the question today Right, so let me read the prayer for you today. It says, Dear Jesus, thank you for choosing me to work together with you. I like working with you too. Please teach me how to love your sheep who feel lost. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, God, I bless all joy kids, those who are listening to this message, and everyone that is in you, God, that we will be able to do the things that you told us to do, and that joy kids will grow that to know that we have the authority to do everything in your name as you commanded us, Lord. Lord, we thank you so much and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.